Now that is how you run the two minute drill. Catch your breath. Let's toss it over to Brad, who has a very special guest. Thanks, Jared. Now it's time to slow things down, and to do that, we bring in our very own Citrus TV softball beat reporter, Anthony Vasquez. Anthony, thanks for taking the time. Hey, great to be here, Brad. All right, so we're breaking down the softball team, and right now, it's a crucial time for that squad because they're entering the toughest part of their schedule, ACC play. Who's got to step up? Well, I'm going to start with the top of the lineup. I'm going to give you three key freshmen here. Tessa Gallipo, she definitely has to step up. She's hitting 424 in the season with three homers and 16 RBIs. Syracuse is going to need a lot more. Looking down at the rest of the order, Kelly Breen, boy, she made a big surprise. Her meteoric rise as a freshman uh, starting at second base, she'll have to step up as well. She's hitting just 318. That's a little bit low for a three hitter. And on the mound, inside the pitcher circle, it's going to have to be Summer Clark. She had a 0.79 ERA coming into the Auburn game. She'll definitely have to step up as ACC play starts. All right, so a lot of names, a lot of numbers, a lot of star power for Syracuse, but there are some things that they need to work on with that teeth of the schedule coming up. So what are they? What is really the focus going into ACC play? Well, Brad, I'm going to put it simply, everything. There's a lot of questions for SU softball right now, and it starts with the hitting. They were absolutely shellacked by Auburn, shut out in just five innings of play. That is something you don't want to see. And if you look at against mid-major opponents, Texas A&M Corpus Christi only scored five runs in a couple games, and Tarleton State only one, losing on a walk-off. That definitely will not play as ACC play starts off. It won't play against Florida State. It won't play against Duke and basically the rest of the ACC. That's Anthony Vasquez. You can follow his coverage all season long on CitrusCV.com and also give him a follow on Twitter. Anthony, thanks again for taking the time. Thanks, Brad. Hey, we have a lot more to get to here on the bench. Performers of the week on the horizon. Jaron and I, we're going to highlight a couple of key names come a few minutes from now. Don't go anywhere.